What is Zen hunting? Yes. Yes. It's a good question. Um, Zen hunting came from uh, the woods, really. It started with bow hunting. And what I found with bow hunting is it took a lot longer to get a shot or even to find a deer. And in that time, I found myself not necessarily finding more deer, but finding a lot more time sitting alone in the woods, not doing anything. I, I would ask myself a lot of questions about life and um, just observe simply how the world worked at a slower pace. And through that... Um, Somehow I felt more connected with the planet and more connected with the spirit of the, the world. There seems to be an energy in, in the woods. Everything's alive and working in some sort of natural balance. And so I question, what is my place in the woods? After, inevitably, when I stop thinking about home, after several days, stop thinking about life and work and relationships and everything else that I'd left to go and sit in the woods for, I started thinking about, really nothing just sitting in the woods and realizing that that was my new home that i was it, things felt natural there i returned to monte cristo where i went when i was a kid and there's tons of deer and since then they all got wiped out from the highway and over hunting and uh, drought so there's no deer and i knew there wasn't any deer so i went up to 20 2008 for the remainder of the hunt i come up over this rise and this deer hops up out of its bed and it didn't see me it heard something in the wind and it hopped up and looked our way and i i could see it and i dropped as it hopped up i dropped and i could see through the the weeds i could see this tremendous rack beautiful four point rack with these clubs hanging down i and, and i'd heard of drop times i'd seen drop tying deer double drop tying bucks in pictures um only never in real life i'd never seen anything like it and so i knocked an arrow and I raised up, and as he crossed those trees, I shot, and there was a limb somewhere between me and the deer, and it hit this limb. And I saw my arrow, I heard it smack this limb, twirled around, and bounced off that deer's butt. Spanked him, and he, he was out of there. And that was the last time I saw him in 2008. That deer was gone. And as I was sitting there, nothing happened. I sat there for a long time. I don't. I didn't even think of the drop time. It didn't even cross my mind. I was. I was thinking about elk. More importantly, I was just reabsorbing in the woods. Something I did not do on the drop time hunt since that horrible, horrible creature entered my life and haunted my day and night. I stopped thinking about that creature, and I just sat there, and I felt the woods. I watched the wind blow. I watched the colors of the leaves. This is why I go to the woods. It's the uh, the deer is secondary. So I, I was watching this all happen, and out of the steep chasm below, I see some movement, and a deer's face appears, and then as it gets closer, two drop tying clubs appear, and this deer is coming right to me. He comes moving through the trees, and he stops, and I draw. And he pops out of the trees. He decides, I'm coming in at 20 yards. He pops out. His shoulder appears. I shoot. And all that's a blur. I don't even remember shooting my bow. I do remember hearing a whack sound. And that deer twirled around 180 and exploded and was gone. At that moment, uh, yeah, reality crept in. And I could literally feel this weight. I guess they call it the weight of the world. I could feel this huge weight on my soul lift and I knew at that second everything from then on would be okay because I had found myself in the woods and it was the process of Zen that brought me to that deer he was a deer beyond my caliber he is a deer beyond my caliber and uh, that was that it was really a relearning of everything I had already learned a solidification of the process I've discovered inadvertently in nature, and that's the process of Zen, the energy and force that binds all things in the universe and everyone and brings us to truths and understanding about life, and more importantly, makes a simple individual like myself capable of things far beyond my capabilities, that I can tap into a force greater than myself 
I can get strengths greater than myself. And, 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 the, and the all understandings of the universe are at my fingertips if I just go through the process to find them.